What up guys? Welcome back. So today we're going to be delving into January's Sephora Play Box. I feel like this is just my favorite um, out of these subscription boxes because I feel like I consistently get like amazing things. I get to try new brands that I'm interested in and I just feel like the value is way more than the 10 bucks a month, well, $10 plus tax that you pay, you know? So I feel like it's a real bargain. Now, I did already look at these products, um, but I'm really excited to share with you guys what we got. So if you're new here, subscribe. That's the first thing you gotta do. Second thing, give this a thumbs up. And I wanna say hey to all my subbies. Love you guys. Thanks for coming back again. All right, let's go. So first up is this little treatment mask. It's from Way. Now, I don't even know if this is gonna work for my hair type. I mean, you guys know, of course, this is a wig, but I do have natural hair. So I gotta give this a try to see if her products are even moisturizing enough. Uh, I'm not even sure if it's actually enough products because it's 0.5 fluid ounces and you guys know if you're a curly girl or a coily haired girl like you need a lot of products for like one deep conditioning but I'm gonna try this and I'll have to report my findings on snapchat to let you guys know how I feel about it I just feel like that's part of my job I gotta try new things so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna try this one out so this here is the friction stick from Tarte I love Tarte skincare but it's so freaking expensive I can't like invest in it regularly so I was really happy that I actually got this little sample so what it is it's got this little cap here um it's more like a exfoliating stick so you take this stick when you're ready to wash your face and you just rub it in circular motions all over your skin and then I kind of use my hands to go in afterwards and then you just rinse it out and I will say it was really really nice so I did try this already I loved it um, since I already have my Mia Fit, I felt like, you know, this is more something I would use when I'm traveling, you know, if I didn't want to bring the Mia Fit with me. So it's not something that I absolutely need, but if you guys like exfoliating products, like, you definitely have to try this because I thought it did a fabulous, fabulous job. Another thing is actually you can use this as a mask. Um, in the little directions that they send with you, you can leave this on for like 10 minutes and use it as a mask and then kind of wash it away and it's supposed to purify your skin. So I like that, two uses in one. Moving on, there's like this mysterious little cardboard box. I haven't actually looked at this one, so let's see what it is. Oh, dang. So this is from the ble the blend so this is from the brand uh, derma blend and they're actually like a professional makeup company so derma blend is what a lot of professional makeup artists use so I'm really really interested in trying this out now it says it's a loose setting powder I don't know if I can show you guys without this tipping out oh good well there's a little sticker over it but um, it does look like it's like a white powder, kind of like if you have the Maybelline HD setting powder, it looks like that. And it says it ensures smudge resistance and enhances wearability um, of Derma Blend foundations for up to 16 hours of consistent color wear. So I'm going to try if this works um, on other foundations because I don't have any Derma Blend foundations, but hey, like some setting powder like okay Sephora play like I see you you did not come here to play you came here you came through for the oily girls oily combination girls so yes we gotta try this out on snapchat so you guys aren't following me on snapchat you gotta make sure because yeah I like to test stuff out on there and moving along so this is from the brand Codaly okay hold up if you guys don't have Caudalie. You've got to check out this thing right here, their Beauty Elixir. It is the best, like, beautifying mist. It's got um, oils in it. It's so good for your skin. Like, this is the best to freshen up your makeup, or if you're looking powdery, like, 
bomb. So, okay, moving on back to Coda Lee's other stuff. <laughs> this is their Reservatrol Fluid Liftant. And, oh, it's got SPF of 20. So I'm definitely excited because I love me some Caudalie. The only thing that I'm thinking about is my skin is really sensitive to regular SPS. I will break out like crazy. So um, I gotta try this out. I don't know how my skin is gonna react, but I got my fingers crossed. I'm hoping for the best. <laughs> but I'm sure if you don't have sensitive skin, then this is probably gonna be really great for you to wear under your makeup. Oh, this is so sad. It's the last product last one so oh okay they gave us a Clinique lipstick and you see what I mean like Sephora play is not playing around okay they came here they came to show you the goods or what you've been missing out okay so this color is called black honey so apparently this is a really well-known color that they've had out for a while now. Um, I'm going to swatch it for you guys. Okay, so this color, I thought it was going to be a lot um, thicker, but here it is. I actually built it up for a little bit. It's very, very sheer. So after reading the description, it is supposed to be a sheer, glossy lip color, and you can dab it over your favorite lipstick to give it some more tint and extend the wearability. Um, you know what? I'm a little bit disappointed because I thought it was going to be a bit more pigmented than this and I did have to work to build this up. I just feel like on my lips, I'm like, is it really going to show? <laughs> but you know what? I haven't actually tried it on yet, so I won't bash it just yet. I just, with the color, how like deep this thing is, I really, really thought that it was going to be like really pigmented. So... We'll see. If it doesn't work for me, I can always give it to my sister, so psh, ain't no problem. Okay, guys, so I mean, that was my Sephora plate box. I loved everything, even the sheer lip gloss. Like, I can rock with it. It's not a big deal. Um, but you see what I mean? I feel like Sephora Play is just, like, super on point. And even though they don't do personalized um, quizzes to, you know, gather your style, I feel like there's something for everybody to love. It's really affordable. And, I mean, who doesn't shop at Sephora anyway? And even if you can't afford Sephora, you can get a bunch of deluxe sample size stuff for like 10 bucks and some tax you know what I mean so yeah leave me comments tell me which ones you guys liked down below and I will see you in the next video bye